Hey, it's the science video on the subject of momentum by Logan and Spencer. Hey there. Now, if you were to look at this pencil right here, would you say that it is moving, or would you say that it is not moving? Uh, raise your hand, take a count. My guess is that most of you would probably say that it's not moving. You'd be wrong. This airplane that the pencil is on is moving at about 600 miles per hour. Can we prove this? Quark particle technology molecular biology bubble radiology planet Santa you're on me I'm here to solve these mysteries Logan Davis random guy nothing left in obscurance I see all science big and small from combined household supplies to some giant hippopotamus a master of the sciences Logan Davis random guy Consider the following if two objects with equal speed have different amounts of mass they will have different amounts of momentum. For example, this large and heavy pool ball has a lot of momentum because it weighs a sizable amount. On the other hand, this small bouncy ball doesn't have very much momentum because it's really light. Now, if I were to roll them both at identical balls across the same table at identical speeds, the ball that's hit by the other ball with greater mass will go further. until it hits something, and then stops. One of the greatest problems for space travel is figuring out how to get gravity onto a spaceship. Most scientists think that it could be done like this. As a spaceship, shaped like a circle, moves around, the people on the outside of the circle would be pulled towards the outside rim of the circle because the spaceship is moving around like that and the people are trying to go up at one point in the spaceship's orbit, the people would be forced against the ground, which would act kind of like gravity. Here's some proof. An easily achieved example can be performed in an experiment with a spinning frisbee and several rubber balls. As the frisbee spins, the rubber balls move towards the outside of the disc because their momentum moves them in a straight line parallel with the edge of the disc wherever it happens to be because they attempt to keep moving outwards from the disc but cannot because of the borders of the disc they are pulled strongly towards the outside imagine that the small rubber balls are people with their heads pointing towards the center of the disc this is how many scientists believe that gravity could be achieved in space the force is often called centrifugal force but in reality it's momentum that makes it work as the airplane is stationary the ball tries to stay in the same place however when the plane speeds up the ball tries to regain its constant speed and rolls backwards along the plane it's time for an experiment now because we're in a lab I always have to wear my apron and my safety goggles just for safety pretend that this could break now, if that were to break into, let's say, four pieces, and it hit the ground, the combined momentum of all the pieces after they flew off in their separate directions would be the exact same as the momentum of the pieces as they were moving towards the ground because of the conservation of momentum law. Cool, huh? You know your energy, well, girl, I know your energy round here. Momentum is an energy, can't act like gravity. Momentum is the energy round here. Momentum is an energy. It's time away, for away, uh, <laughs> yeah. Away, away. Momentum is Did an energy. Away, away. Momentum is an energy. Away, away. Friction is the enemy, so give me, give me, give me motion.